Hello guys, welcome to Team Acting Avengers, Lisa here. Hey look, we are continuing on our Cafe to Home series today and I am making the most amazing leek tart. Now it is a beautiful tart actually from Maria Stewart, okay? It is a TM6 version I'm cooking too, but let me talk you through what I've done so far because it's had a 10 minute cook that I want to share with you and then we're going to progress on and go to those next steps. So it is on the downloadable. Head over to my website, TMX Adventures, and subscribe, and you get this to your inbox. Uh, hi, Linda, lovely to have you on today. I'm actually putting together a blog for tonight that actually has the September sources in it, and then next week you'll get this one, and then I should be up to date with my blog posts, so then you can go find them when they come out each month. Now, this recipe is amazing. I've done it a very long time ago. Not for you guys, though, just in general. I had people coming over, and I wanted to do it. First things first is a leek, or actually it's two leeks, sliced into rings, the white bit at the bottom, and then put in the Thermomix with 20 grams of oil. And we use our high heat on our TM6 to cook this off, okay? So this is the beautiful caramelized leek and feta tart. It's a TM6 recipe from Maria Stewart. But if you have a TM5 or 30 or one, that's okay. I will tell you how to do it in those as well, okay? So don't worry. What I've done so far is I've caramelized that off. So the TM6 uses high heat for 10 minutes on this guided recipe. If you have a TM31 or a TM5, I want you to cook your leek with your oil. So it's 300 grams of leek, it's 20 grams of oil, and it's leeks in rings, okay? We always do leeks in one centimeter rings, and you use the white. So it's about two leeks, maybe three if they're skinny, and you want to cook that. TM6 is for the 10 minutes. If you have a TM5 or a 31, you are using Varoma, you are using reverse, you are going to cook it for 12 minutes, speed one, okay? Because you need a bit longer to try and soften that leek up and make it really buttery and soft, okay? Then, the step I had just done, it asked for 20 grams of brown sugar. I just use raw sugar, and it asked for 10 grams of white vinegar, okay? I just use white vinegar. And then it cooked for three minutes, 100 degrees of aroma. One of them, both will work, uh, on speed one, okay? And now we're picking up together. That's where we're at to, okay? So that's 13 minutes of cooking. That first 10 minutes was fantastic because I went and I organized my next lot of ingredients. And look at that. We have soup, beautiful leek. You might notice I have a little bit of the green in there. I did kind of, mine were two and they were on the smaller side, so I had to kind of take a little bit of the green as well. Doesn't really matter. Um, obviously, you don't want as much green. You really do want the lighter color. You want the white. It's not as bitter, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Okay, transfer aside. I will show you this in a second. Let me just get this out. Beautiful, softened leek rings. Okay, if you don't have leek and you still wanted to try this recipe, I would use a purple onion, okay? Leeks might be maybe too expensive uh, or maybe they're not available. A couple of, like 300 grams of purple onion sliced into rounds would be beautiful as well, I reckon, okay? All right, next up, let's continue on. Transfer aside, check. I'll show you. Yum, nothing like amazing soft leek. Love it. Okay, 200 grams of pouring whipping cream. I am just using coconut cream. Okay, we have that standard in our house, so it just makes it super easy to just reach for that because it doesn't need to be stored in the fridge until it's opened. Oh, I'm a little short. It seems to be the trend lately, doesn't it? I'm seeming to run short on it, but that's okay. Still works out perfectly fine, which is awesome, right? With our Thermomix, it doesn't have to be perfect all the time, which is fantastic. Three eggs. Okay, by the way, I'd use yogurt if I had yogurt on hand. If you did have ricotta, you could use ricotta. Um, cottage cheese maybe would be all right as well. Anything like that. Obviously I've used coconut cream. Three eggs. Now we get to the seasoning. I'm standing a little funny today. There is a sheet of uh, something to do with building. I'm not sure what, under my feet. So I'm a little bit, if I look like I'm standing funny, it's because I am, it's one foot forward and one foot back. It's a bit crazy around here. Okay, I've just done the pepper. Now, normally, I'd actually like to put veggie stock, to be honest, in this recipe. I'm out of veggie stock, and I need to restock my veggie stock. I'm actually going to use my leek greens. You know how the leeks are made up of the white bottom and the green top? I'm actually going to use that to put it in my stock later today when I make a new batch of stock. But if you've got stock on hand, put yourself in not maybe not a generous, but about half a teaspoon. So don't be big and scoopy. It'll be too salty. 
of veggie stock and that will just lift this flavor immensely okay there's that pepper did that first on with the lid I love how easy it is to make fancy food when you've got a Thermomix. Does anyone else find 10 seconds speed five that it is really hard? I was waiting for the food to finish. Does anyone else find it's really hard to eat out when you've got a Thermomix and you just get disappointed when you pay for food that you're like, I could have done better? Or is it just me? Okay, here we go, finishing off, it's super easy now. My beautiful 12 year old whipped up some short crust pastry for me earlier. Okay, it is simply a matter now of putting in here, it says to put half of the mixture into the reserve casing. So this is our mixture. I probably should have pushed this down today, I didn't. So anyway, this will be interesting to see if we get to actually fit it all in. And then we're going to put in our different bits. So we're going to put in some the beautiful caramelized leek. Okay. I don't really want to use my hand. All right. Let's see how we go. So this is a short crust pastry, not from this recipe, but actually from my course, my bakery challenge course. Um, just because this one that they called for had eggs and we've got chickens, but we also kind of have a limited supply of eggs. So I don't want to use them all on pastry when I know I can make amazing pastry myself. Okay, feta, spread that out. We're going to put more mix on top and finish up. So it's as simple as this to make a beautiful tart. I will take a photo of the final product. I do try and share it on Facebook, time permitting, so you guys get to see it. I think I'm going to put more of the leek on top now. I actually don't know what the recipe says. I'm just kind of making it up. And there we go. And of course, we finish it off with some beautiful cherry tomatoes. It does say anchovies. I am not an anchovy fan, so I will be skipping the anchovies. So on this goes. Look at that. And then finish it off. If you guys can see that well, spin this around for you. Now it goes in the oven on 160 degrees for 35 minutes. I had to think about that for a second. So I'm just topping it with some yummy tomatoes and it goes in the oven. How simple is that? It is so incredibly simple to make amazing food in your kitchen and so much cheaper and you know exactly what's in it like i was able to make this less dairy than otherwise obviously i've still got butter in my pastry but i was able to and there's feta in it as well but you know you can work it in with what you want how you like to eat your choices of your food like it just gives you so much freedom so with that in mind if there's anything i can do to support you or someone you know with a thermomix please don't be a stranger reach out i love to hear from you Keep an eye out tonight, you will get a blog from me, uh, and it's actually the recap of our speedy sauces, no, spring sauces from last month, but otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow for some more thermomixing. Take care, and if I can help you, you know where to find me, but we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now, guys.